peeps. Busch Gardens Williamsburg has officially presented more details on the upcoming revitalization of the Loch Ness Monster coming to their park in 2024 in advance of their 50 year anniversary. So we knew that Loch Ness Monster was getting kind of a, a revamp in time for the upcoming 50th anniversary of Busch Gardens Williamsburg in 2025. Um, but we've gotten some more details today. And so that includes a couple of cool key elements that we didn't really know much about before. First thing announced is that the queue itself will be updated with an enhanced storytelling experience. So rather than just kind of entering in and hopping on a roller coaster, it seems like they're going to add a little bit more of a story to the Loch Ness Monster. And apparently that story will continue on as you climb up the initial lift till, which has a new soundtrack created specifically for the ride. One of the cool new elements that they're bringing in is that in that first drop after that initial lift till, that guests will catch a glimpse of something lurking under the water. Now, if that's going to be visible from the rest of the park as you walk around, I don't know, but it says that there will be something lurking under the water that you can see after that first lift hill during that first drop. So after the first lift hill, riders will continue on throughout the coaster, which appears to sound mostly unchanged. While the, the, the ride itself will feature 900 feet of all new track, it appears that the, at least from the announcement that it's mostly going to be the same ride just obviously with new track which probably means way smoother um very cool and of course it also means that we will still get the two interlocking vertical loops um traveling up to 60 miles per hour during that time frame the tunnel will still be part of the upcoming ride experience except now it does say that riders will come face to face with the monster in a shadowy cave layer now, in prior years, you used to be able to see the Loch Ness Monster, or it was just kind of like a projection or a lit up visual. It wasn't like an animatronic or anything like that. Um, now, what will the new Loch Ness Monster look like? Will it be something more elaborate? Will it be, again, you know, kind of a, a, a lit up sign or, or vision, or, you know, a visual of the Loch Ness? Or will it be something cooler? Hard to say, they don't say, but regardless, something will be seen in that tunnel. And of course, the rest of the ride will remain the same. As you come out of the tunnel, you'll hit the second vertical loop and uh, return to the station. Important thing to know is that Loch Ness Monster will be open to the general public for the last time in its current state on Tuesday, October 31st. That is the last time that the general public will be able to ride the Loch Ness Monster. However, Busch Gardens members will get one final weekend to ride the Loch Ness Monster on November 4th and 5th and will be some of the first people to ride the new reimagined Loch Ness Monster when it opens in 2024. And the new reimagined Loch Ness Monster is going by the title Loch Ness Monster The Legend Lives On. So lots of big things coming up for Busch Gardens in 2024. We're going to talk about them in a future video, but they've got anniversary years for Hollow Scream and Christmas Town. They're upcoming, going to be announcing a new summertime event, replacing Summer Nights. And of course, it's all building up to a 50th anniversary of Busch Gardens Williamsburg in 2025. So what are you most looking forward to that we talked about today? Are you looking forward to the new revamped Loch Ness Monster? Are you looking forward to the 50th anniversary and seeing what they do in the park then? Leave us a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. Let's us know that you like this content. Let's us know that you want to see more of it. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.